Hello everyone, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming, and in this RPG Maker Envy tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can replicate the morph skill from uh, Final Fantasy VI, Terra's morph skill. So let's get started. First, I'm going to show you um, what we're going to be making, and then I'm going to show you how to make it. So we've made a new skill class called Morph, and we've allowed uh, three different states. The neutral state, which is what you're in. Uh, to start with, and then the light state and the dark state. So if we were to cast the neutral state right now, nothing would happen because we're already in the neutral state. But if we were to cast the light state, you can see that the character's animation has changed. And not only that, but the skills have changed. So the, the key skill that uh, the neutral state has is burst. And uh, in the light state, you no longer have burst, but you have heal and raise. But if we morph to dark, our animation changes again, and we no longer have those other three skills, and we have life drain and darkness instead. So let's show these uh, animations in battle. Uh, I've allowed these skills to be played uh, in battle, and you can see the animator, uh, the character's animation, also changes. So we'll switch back to the light state, the light state. We can switch back to the neutral state. And I guess we'll just end the battle there. So, um, I'll show you how to do that real quick. So the first thing that you're going to do, um, this is part special request video. But um, I'll get to that at the end. The first thing you're going to do is make an actor, give it uh, the neutral character. Uh, then you're going to go to your common events, and you're going to create a couple new common events. You're going to need one new common event for each of the states that you want your character to be in. So um, I've made the three states, the neutral, the dark, and the light. And the first thing you're going to do is show an animation if you want one. And then you're going to right click and you're going to insert change actors, uh, change, change actor images rather. And the change actor images is going to be on the third tab uh, at the bottom under system settings. You'll see change actor images. And then you're going to select the actor that you're going to change. And then you're going to give those three graphics. Then you're going to subtract all the spells that they're going to get from other classes. And you're going to add the spells that you, they're going to get from, uh, from that class. So then we're going to go to... Uh, actor on tab one and we're going to change skills and you're going to select the player or the character who has the the morph skill and they're going so you're going to forget the skills that they learn from the other class and you're going to learn the skills you want them to have for for this class or it's not really changing class it's just changing uh like a morph state um but it's not even a state it's just a graphic change and skill change so um and you can see in the light uh, alter self We've added Heal and Raise, and we've subtracted Light Drain, Darkness, and Burst because these are the skills that they're getting from other classes. So in the Dark State, we have uh, Light Drain and, and uh, Darkness, and we're adding those so you can see the plus right there, and we're subtracting the other three. And in the Neutral State, we're subtracting all of the other skills except for the Burst. Um, now you can set uh, whatever state you want, the whatever uh, title you want for the alter self or morph self or whatever you want to call it it's all flavor it's up to you and you can also specify the skills that they learn this is just a template that you can use to modify so once we've set up our states we're going to go to skills we go to the bottom change maximum if you have to create a new skill for each one of those different uh, alter self states and then we're going to give it a graphic give it a title let the player know basically what's going on what they're going to be doing um, we're going to uh, actually apply that, go over to types and add a new type. Change, uh, change your maximum for type and add morph or you call it whatever you like. That way when we go to skills we can select that morph skill type. Give it whatever cost you want for the player to transform. Uh, the scope, I would say the user. Occasion, always, unless you want them to only be able to do it in battle screen. A certain hit, give it whatever animation you want, whatever message you want, and if you would like to require a weapon, you can do so here. It wouldn't need any damage type, but you will have to right-click on the effects, 
go to edit, go to other, down to common event, and select one of the common events that's associated with that type of morph state. Um, that's basically all you have to do. Um, you go to your classes, select the class that's going to be changing states, or is changing, uh, that's going to be morphing. It's hard to say this because states is, it's, we're not even using states, but it's basically like changing states. Um, and then you give them, you award them the, the morph skills at whatever level you want. Make sure they have the, the ability to, uh, to, to use morph. So you would go to edit here in the, the traits, and then you go over to skill type, and you add skill type, and you select morph, or whatever you called it. Once you've done that, um, you're pretty much done. So to, to take uh, the second part of this video for special requests, um, Ice Blade Fox says, would you mind posting a video that explains what each sprite does, being new to sprites? I understand the concept, however, have no idea the order they follow. A simple template with numbers would do. Maybe some words with their association help, would help as well. Thank you and have a good day. So uh, Ice Blade Fox, let's uh, show you how to do that. So in order to um, have the character change graphic, we're changing the, the actor's images. But how you make the images look different is you're going to get a uh, GIMP for free, or if you have Photoshop, you can open up your um, your faces, your character animation, and or your SV actors. So once you've opened up all three of those, you're going to um, basically apply a filter to all of those. Um, so to address Ice Blade Fox's question, this is a, a sprite uh, PNG file. And a sprite is basically just a set of pictures that the game uses to show an animation. So this is the first uh, sprite that's played when you're pressing down. This is the second sprite that's playing when you're pressing down. This is the third. So when you're holding down, it's cycling through these three uh, pictures to create an animation. Well, the same thing for the others. When you're pressing left, it's cycling through these three. When you're pressing right, these three. When you're pressing up, these three. So this sprite PNG has enough room to hold eight different sprites. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, if you want to include the character's fallen or slain animation, you can do so right here, but then it would only have room to hold four complete sprites. So uh, in order to, to create a new image, you would just open it up in GIMP or Photoshop or any other editor you like, and you would apply a filter to it. So for this one, uh, I've selected Conte Crayon because we're going to create a new state or a new uh, alter self. So this is going to be a petrified one. You can see as we cycle through, we're changing the graphics for it. But we're going to select the Conte Crayon for this one. We're going to hit OK. We're going to go over to the walking uh, or the, the battler one, and we're going to uh, apply the same uh, filter there. So this is our battlers petrified or maybe we can call it stone skin or something I actually like that and what's cool about this one I kind of like the way this one looks because if you're doing like a sci-fi theme and maybe you have like a hollow deck in your game or maybe it's a computer terminal that's got some sort of a video conference thing you could use uh, this Conte crayon one or some other one like it to create like a static -y hollow deck uh, face image if you'd like which is kind of cool so once we have our um, our images filtered, we're going to save them as. Now we don't want to directly save them because it's going to overwrite the existing one. So we'll create a new one and we'll call it Stone Skin. We'll give a, a pre uh, Stone Skin, not a uh, I can't spell uh, an affix. That's the word, not a prefix, but an affix to the the name. We're going to select uh, a PNG. We're going to save it as a PNG and we're going to select uh, slowest compression and interlaced. So now we've saved this one as uh, as stone skin. I think we've saved it as stone skin. File save as. Did I just overwrite? No, I didn't overwrite. I saved it correctly. That's weird. It didn't upla update right there. But anyway, we're going to continue on and do the same thing for the next one. Save as. And we're going to call this one Stone Skin. And save that as a PNG file right here. Same uh, options. And then we're going to go over here and we're going to save this one as the same. So Battler Stone Skin. 
Now that we've got those three, if we were to go back into our MV project, we can uh, look at the character, or the actor rather, and we could actually see that he has different uh, animations now because we've applied a filter to them. You can even call that one like a uh, holodeck or something. Uh, and that'll also let you use them in the common events. So when you change actor images, you're going to be applying that one to the state. Or the face image, I mean. I keep saying state. <laughs> but hopefully this video helps you. And hopefully uh, Iceblade Fox has cleared up what a sprite is and how you could use it. This isn't really a spriting tutorial, but it's basically a simple thing that you can do with your sprites to make your character look different at different times. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all of you. Continue to ask your questions in the comic rem comments. Remember to like, favorite, share, and subscribe if you want more content like this. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.